Okay, so I put in some more details of the fur in here. You can see I've got some dark spots. Uh, I've got this fur in here. I added some darker medium uh, spots here. So I've got all my medium washes in on the cat at least. I'm going to go back in the background and do more later. But um, what I want to show you next is a little detailing on this cat's face. She's got a white face and then these little black spots where her whiskers come in. And I just want to show you how I do this. Um, and it's all about how wet the paper is how wet your brush is, how much paint you use. It's all about controlling your brush um, water consistency and the moisture on your paper. So what I want is to put little dots of color here for, the whisk for where the whiskers come in. I want those edges soft but very controlled so that they just bleed out a tiny little bit just to give them the softness but I, they're very contained. They're just tiny little spots that don't bleed out a lot, just a little tiny bit so I don't want my paper too wet so I'm just going to put a little bit of water on here to moisten the surface and then I'm going to use some very um, creamy consistency paint um, almost to the point where it's not runny not this one but see how little this one is running it's very thick let me get this so it doesn't mess that up see how um, thick it is it's not like paste yet but it is very thick cream like heavy whipping cream consistency okay and that's gonna um, that's going to allow me to control it when I drop it in and I'm going to make sure I'm going to put my brush tip in just the very tip just the very tip and then I'm going to blot then I'm going to blot my paintbrush I don't want it too wet um, you can see how precise I'm being with my paintbrush and that's working out nicely um, gonna get a little bit more sienna because even these spots here um, have a combination of sienna and also black in them so I'm going to put down like a underwash of the sienna and then I'll go back in and I'll put in some black on top of this and I might have to let this dry and then go back and re moisten slightly. I'm being very careful to keep looking back at my picture. This actually is a mistake. So let me show you what you can do when you make a mistake. This little spot of brown right here, I don't want it. It's still wet, so what you do is you put a dollop of water on there. Take your paper, your paper towel, blot, blot, blot. It's good as new. It's like it was never there, and that's a great technique to use um, while um, it's still wet. After it dries, you can do that to a point, but you might have to do a little bit of scrubbing. In the meantime, this area over here is still a little moist and it's just a little moist. It's not even, it's hardly damp to the touch. This is a good time to spritz just a few light spritz and it might be too light but I'll try it. I'm um, putting in a few spritz of water just to give that fur some texture so it's not flat. Okay and I'm gonna go in with clear water here and just put in the few brush strokes. 
what that clear water will do is paint that is um, push the pigment out and away. You'll see when you try um, it kind of pushes the pigment out of those areas where the water is and leaves lighter areas on the paper. Okay, so I'm going to dry this and then I'm going to come back in and put more detail.